What is going on everybody? Welcome to another Python tutorial video. In this video what we're going to be talking about is a little bit more of modules and just some sort of understanding of modules. So in the last video we were really talking about the syntax that goes into importing a module and all the kind of uh, nuances as far as how you can import a module to do exactly what you want and so you can kind of be lazy with your typing. Now in this video we're going to be talking a little bit more about how modules themselves work. We're going to make our own module and we're going to talk briefly about local versus kind of like global modules. So with that let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and make a simple module uh, that we can use as an example. So let's go ahead and do that. So as we've kind of shown before um, a module is just a Python script usually. So that's it. So what we're going to do is just make a simple script and we're going to say define example or ex and ex is going to have one parameter and that's going to be data. Now all this function is going to do is it's going to print data. That's it. So now we're going to go to file, save as, and we're going to save this function in the same directory as the current script that we're writing. And I'm going to save it as example mod.py. Save that and we're done. Now we can open up the original script which should be empty still. Come back over here. Make it the proper size. And now we're ready to maybe use this module. Now just real quick we can go start and what we want to do is we want to open up a Python 3.4 IDLE. And real quick let's just try to import example mod we get an error and it says there's no module named example mod. Basically the path that it's going to go through to look for modules is going to be like local, site packages, and lib, right? So C Python 3.4 lib, C Python 3.4 lib site packages. Generally, again, third party modules will be in site packages, whereas your typical vanilla installation modules will be right there uh, in lib. So with that, um, we can come over here though, and we can go import example mod and just real quick let's save and run it and we see that we don't actually get an error okay and that's because we do have it and it's local right so it isn't one of the checking checked paths so now what we can do is we could actually say it from well we have an import example mod now as we showed in the last video we still have to do something like this like example mod dot ex and then in here's where we're gonna put our data for us let's just say a test so it should just print out test so we'll save we'll run that and sure enough the output is test. Now we can take this a little step further and we can go into the directory that contains our script which is here. So we have example mod. Now what we can do is go my computer here C34 lib site packages and now let's go ahead and uh, just copy this module into site packages. So now we have example mod in there. So if we go uh, again to our Python 3.4 IDLE, what we can do now is import example mod, and now we can go example mod.ex test, and it acts as any other module would act. So that's how you can kind of create your own modules, and you can obviously edit modules. And if you do create your own modules and it says it doesn't exist, well, it needs to be in one of the paths, local, lib, site packages, okay? Um, and that's pretty much it. And so what you can do eventually is download, like say you're gonna, say you make your own script that you find extremely useful and you, you find yourself using it every time. Like let's say you, like for me, um, I do sentiment analysis and I, a lot of times I use the same parser for no matter what the website is. I use a parser and then I usually apply some rules to it and all of that. Um, I'm gonna put that in my site packages because I use it all the time so why not just import that instead of for every kind of application that I use a parser for, uh, why not use the one that I've trained really well. So anyway, that's just an example. You'll probably have your own, but that's so you can make your own modules. Also, if you download someone else's module, or maybe you see someone else's code that you want to make into a module yourself, and they don't necessarily have a setup.py or whatever, you can just download the source right of that module and just put it in your site packages. It's not a big deal. So. Anyway, that's going to conclu conclude this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. As always, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And before I go, I will just say, obviously if you're in Linux or, uh, well, any sort of distribution of Linux, your path will be different. But anyway, um, until next time.